Hey folks, John Madden here to explain to you this sorting algorithm called Bubble Sort. <laughs> bubble Sort. Now the basic principle of this sort is to get the bigger objects to sort of kind of float to the top. Kind of like the bubbles of Brett Favre bathtub. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. It basically steps through an array of n items, looking at adjacent items and swapping them if the first one is greater than the second one. And then does this around n times to sort the array. So let's try to visualize this. Here we have five Brett Favre. Hey, wouldn't that be a great world with five Brett Favre's in it? Brett Favre for everybody, but but these Brett Favre's are horribly mutated at all different sizes. So, we stick these guys in a line and do a bubble sort. We'll first look at these first two, and hey, they're already in order, so we don't touch them. Then we look at these next two, and we switch them, since the second one's bigger than the third one. Then we third and fourth are fine, but the fourth and fifth need to be switched. And hey, they're kind of sort of more in order. I mean, I don't even know why we're doing this. I'm sure mutated Brett Favre's can sort themselves in a pitch black vacuum, but Anyway, we then repeat what we just did up to the next to last item until we have no more items to compare it. Boom! These crazy guys are in order. Now, we look at the time complexity of this algorithm. <laughs> time is pretty complex. I even confuses me sometimes. Now, we're going through this first loop n minus 1 times, and then the second loop n minus 1 minus i times, where i is the number of the first loop we've gone through. So, we combine these and look at the number of comparisons. We're looking at 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so forth until we get to n minus 1. So, we combine that into a sub, use a sub property, and boom, we do n squared minus n over to a comparison. Now, ignoring that Dumbo n is all by itself and the resulting coefficient, wow, that's a big old n squared. But Prep Farm, Prep Farm's the greatest player in football. I mean, he, he could use Bubble Sword to sort any array in constant time. I mean, that's just crazy. Well, folks, that's Bubble Sword in a nutshell. Enjoy the rest of the game.